Hey guys, it's Ed Malls, and we're here to tell you about our five favorite things from the week. My first favorite thing of the week was I watched this documentary today called Art and Copy, and there was kind of like a boss bitch in it um, that you should Wikipedia. Mm-hmm. She's really cool. Her name is Mary Wells Lawrence, and she did the I Love New York campaign. When you first said the I Love New York campaign, I thought you were talking about the I Love Tiffany Pollard campaign. Oh uh, no. AKA New York. <laughs> One would hope, but no. From Flavor of Love slash I Love New York. My favorite thing of the week was a stranger that my friends met at the Beverly Hills Hotel and bought us an $800 bottle of champagne. For no reason at all. And it was just like an extravagant act of kindness. Do you know what I'm saying? It wasn't not only a random act of kindness, but it was an extravagant act of kindness that I felt that was so like beautiful, but totally unnecessary and shocking. You know, you could have just bought us a round of drinks and you didn't have to buy a bottle of or, or nothing. Or nothing. Like you could have just didn't like, you know, your company was enough, you know? Oh, my number two is liquor related. All right. I, like, or went to the bar, and I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to, like, do, like, a seven and ginger tonight. And I, I went and ordered one, they were like, oh, we don't have Seagram's. Um, and I was like, I don't know, give me whatever is, like, comparable. <laughs> and they were like, oh, why not wild turkey? And I was like, oh, yeah, totally. So, like, I had, like, three or four of them. Damn. And it was really, like, it was the nicest drunk I've been in a while. I came home sat down with a bag of raw almonds, listened to some, like, really productive podcasts. I think that I might be, like, a wild turkey girl. The tank top I'm wearing says Hollywood destroyed them all, and I'm wearing it as a reminder to myself to stay authentic. Not that I needed a tank top to evoke that reminder, but it just, you know, I like the tank top, and it looks good on me, so, anyway, and it also has a good meaning. I miss my friend Chuck. Scheming Chuck, like he's on tour with some band right now in Chicago, and it's um, his tweets are really funny. And um, Chicago's a city I've never been to, but that I've romanticized a lot in my head. So um, it's a I'm very, city. I'm very jealous of his travels, and I miss my friend. Um, so you should follow him if you want ideas by Chuck on Twitter. My third favorite thing is my barber, Dylan, who works at Syndicate Barbershop in Long Beach. Dylan is not only cute, tattooed basically over 80% of his body, a phenomenal man, but he cuts hair like nobody's business. And I love him because I can say, Dylan, I want to look like a legionnaire, except high and tight with a one fade. And I'll be like, but make it cool. And then he'll do it. And, like, he does this, like, really cool thing where... That's quite the look. It's a it's a look. Number four is really, really, really exciting. Oh, exciting. You know, this is going to be on your list, too, I think, probably. Okay. Danielle Staub, gone. Mm-hmm. All together mm-hmm. from Real mm-hmm. Housewives yep. of New Jersey. She's done. Yeah. So the show's going to be a lot more bearable next season. Exactly. And did you hear that her ex-husband is filing for custody of Jillian? Not, I know. not Christine, too, though? I don't think they have the same dad. Is that really? incorrect? Is that incorrect? I don't know. The article that I read made it seem like maybe they didn't have the same dad. Or maybe Jillian, or maybe Christine's just so close to 18 and she's almost out of the house anyway. Yeah, exactly. Slash the damage is already pretty much like done. Like, maybe Jillian wants to go with her dad. Right. And it doesn't get any more realer than Jillian Staub. Let's just put it out there. Like, Jillian Staub is a superstar. She's the truth. She's, like, the superstar of the household. Next so. Hannah Montana. The art of flirtation is my other favorite thing. I got hit on more than I ever have in my entire life on Friday night. I'm like, what happened? Like, what What did I do differently? I didn't do anything you sound differently. You like your swag on that. Yeah. I was talking to nice guys, too. Well, one guy who did mention that being from Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, he uh-huh. did, didn't, like, he didn't neglect to mention that he was rich and had a big dick. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, good to know. Okay, like, next. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. And then I met a nice guy from D.C. who was nice. My number five is really good. I got um, my favorite nail polish that I've had many times from the salon, but I've never owned before today. It's Mesmerized by Essie. You like to say what? Got to Mesmerize. <laughs> got to Mesmerize. If that were a middle name that we could have chosen for ourselves, it would have been Molly Got to Mesmerize McAleer and Edward Got, got to, to Mesmerize, mesmerize Hanson. Hanson. So, I mean... Whenever you're out, you've got to mesmerize. Got to mesmerize. My fifth favorite thing is taking advice from good friends. Um, (laughs) Oh, my God, yeah. In the form of teaching people how to treat you. Um, I have recently had to teach someone how to treat me, and I don't think I would have been able to do that 
how had it not been for my wife, you know. So thank you, Edward. Well, you know, I just gotta give credit where credit's due, you know. And so <laughs> I think that sometimes it's okay, and not just okay, but really beneficial to listen to what your good friends have to say, what to your soulmates have to say, and just take that advice and go with it. The advice was pretty stellar. I think it's had very good results, so I anyway. I'm so glad. Maybe your friends won't give as good advice as Ed's friends will. Exactly. But um, you can email me and I'll give it to you too. Exactly. Or you can email Ed. He gives pretty good advice too. Yeah, I'm actually pretty decent on the advice He's level. He's pretty decent. Like, I'm pretty decent. I make a tremendous amount of mistakes, so I think that if anyone's in like a good position to give advice, it's me. Fail harder. Like, learn from my mistakes. Right. So... Um, okay, bye. Love you.